Welcome to the Sawdust Beast channel. Normally, our topic is Bigfoot, but today we have the Ozark Trail seven person TP tent, and we are going to review it. This seven person TP tent is 11 foot by 11 foot. And one thing that I liked about this tent is there is no center pole. It is a two pole setup. It is seven foot eight inches tall at the center point of the TP. I haven't opened this up yet. So, we're just going to open it up straight out of the box. And see how it goes. One thing that I notice, we do have printed instructions on the inside of the carry case. This is a pouch that goes on the inside of the tent and it's made to put a tablet or a phone in if you want to watch movies. Looks like we have the tent stakes here and we have the poles. First thing that I would advise anybody to do is to put a tarp down below the tent. That way if there's any sharp rocks or any sticks or stubs coming up, it will not either give extra protection for your tent. Okay, we've got our protector tarp laid down and we've got the tent. So we're going to take the tent Lay it down and fold it out. Two is to put out the stakes. Stake out the tent in a crisscross pattern. Pull in the tent slightly snug 
but not too tight that it will give you problems installing the inside poles. After the poles are installed, you can go back, pull out the wrinkles, and restake the bottom of the tent. Now we're ready to put the center poles in. The center poles has a braided wire that runs through them. This part here will go into the top of the tent. Slide both poles inside and start working your way to the center part of the tent. With your primary pole, which is the one that has a PVC cap, and fit it inside of the roof and start standing up the primary pole in alignment with the Velcro tabs next to the window. Insert the secondary pole into the bottom of the Y and the frame will be sturdy enough to make any adjustments if needed. To tighten up the side walls, just extend the poles at the bottom of the frame until the spring pin snaps into place. Secure the tent to the poles by wrapping the hook and loop fasteners around both poles. Now we need to put down the guide wires. Just untie them. You take this end here, you pull it out. Take the tent stake, you don't want them too tight, push them in at a 45 degree angle, and with this, by moving it up, it's loose. And slide it up till it's tight. This is the latest model of the Ozark Trail 7-man TP tent. This right here is something that they have added it is a bent hood and it comes with this little hole and you just slip it into the pocket and then there's two pockets on both sides one right here and one right here and it will hold this up Just pull it out a little bit to kind of take the pressure off. It would be a good idea not to attach your guide wires here yet. 
stretch it out. And slip it into the other pocket. And then you're ready to stretch out your guide wires. One thing I would like to say about these stakes. Usually when you buy a tent, they are flimsy and they will bend when you push them in the ground. But these stakes here are a whole lot more heavy duty than your normal stakes that you get with a new tent. Also, you can see how this new hood vent works. It's going to work really good and there's some new improvements that they have made on this Ozark Trail 7-man teepee tent and we'll just go over a few of them. By far the most requested modification that customers have asked for is that a window with a bug screen be added to the door. Ozark Trail has listened and the new design does feature the window and bug screen. Breaking the tent down is as simple as reversing the order that it was put up in. Loosening and unhooking the guide wires Unfasten the Velcro straps that secure the tent to the poles. Press in on the spring pin and retract the bottom of each pole. Separate the primary and secondary poles. Remove the tent stakes and fold each of the six corners towards the center and fold up the tent. Before we get started, I would like to be clear that I am not being paid for this review and I bought this tent because after many hours of research I felt this tent suited my needs for a car camping three season tent and my goal is to share my thoughts good or bad so that others might consider whether this would be a wise purchase for themselves is this Ozark Trail 7-person TP tent worth the going price of $68 from Walmart? And keep in mind, this is a $12 increase from last year's model. In my opinion, it's worth the extra money because of the addition of the door window and the vent hooded window at the rear of the tent. Having a window on each side of this tent will greatly increase the airflow on hot summer days. I can't fault Ozark Trail for saying that this is a seven person tent because all tent manufacturers exaggerate the number of people they would cram in there. But to be realistic, just divide that number in half. Rating the materials used on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give it a 7.5. I wish the floor tub and wall fabric were a thicker material. The walls are a light color, and at night, your neighbors in the campground might notice silhouettes moving around on the inside of the tent. On the plus side, not having a center pole in the middle of the tent is ingenious engineering on Ozark Trail's design. The 11 foot by 11 foot floor width is very spacious and calculates to 105 square feet. But the number one selling point for me is the 7 foot 8 inch center height. It is nice to be able to stand all the way up and walk around. There are two hanging three pocket organizers along with a movable clear plastic media pouch for holding a tablet. Also, there is a vented e-port 
at the front of the tent if you want to run an electrical cord or propane hose through it. There are three hooded vents at the top of the tent that will help reduce but not prevent condensation during colder weather. With the thinner wall material, it would be advisable to scotch guard the outside of the tent to guard against a heavy soaking rain. After you have set this tent up a time or two, one person should be able to put it up in 15 minutes and take it down and pack it up in 20. Two people should be able to trim five minutes off that. Would I buy this tent again? I would. There isn't many tents on the market under a hundred dollars that gives you this kind of floor space and height. If this video has been helpful, please consider giving us a thumbs up. Or if you own one of these TP tents and have had favorable or unfavorable experiences, leave us a comment so others can learn. Also, if you enjoy the topic of Sasquatch, check out some of our podcasts or field evidence videos. And thanks for watching. This has been a Sawdust Production.